In one of my previous videos, we analyzed certain type of books that you are most likely to encounter in your academic life. But in reality, in your professional life, it is likely that you're going to encounter way much more books and better books that are going to make your job way easier. Let's get started. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. And of course, principles, theory, and all the academic background is very important for your formation as a chemical and process engineer. But in reality, guys, you're going to see that the way in which we approach things in the industry is way different than the way that we approach those problems in the academic life. And truth be told, guys, is that it will be almost impossible to list all of those books here because this depends on the type of industries you're going to be working. If you are working, for instance, in the oil and gas industry, you may be talking about petroleum refining, you may be talking about petrochemicals, but not only that, most likely you're going to be working with a steam reforming unit or a catalytic reformer unit. So you may be talking about unit operation used in the petroleum refining industry, or maybe you're going to be talking about a catalyst book. Another example will be the pharmaceutical industry, or if you're talking about food industry, or maybe even chemicals. It will be almost impossible to suggest books for the different industries, regardless of the industry that you may be working in. Moreover, guys, I really want to focus my attention to the so-called handbooks, which are those type of books that are going to be focusing their attention to the actual solution to the industry. Many times you're going to see that there's a lot of thumb rules and a lot of applications that may or not make some sense to you guys. And this is because these have become the norm or the go-to in such specific industry. Make no worries because typically these are made for you to make your job way easier. And now let's get started with the list. And remember, this is in no particular order. And by the way, guys, I prepare a PDF file with a complete list. You just need to check out the comment section to get it. Number one will be, yes, the elephant in the room, Paris Chemical Engineering Handbook. I'm pretty sure that you have heard about this. Maybe you own one of them, or maybe you have used it already in your university library or at your job. And this is by far one of the best books that you can get as a chemical or process engineer. You will encounter a lot of tables, a lot of diagrams, a lot of information regarding chemical properties, but not only that, you're going to also see some applications for unit operations, for distillation, let it be reaction engineering, chemical reactor design, plant control, plant design, plant operation, and much more. This is by far one of the top picks that I can imagine for a chemical engineer. There are for sure a lot of books or handbooks that are out there and will be pretty similar to this book, but for your specific industry. So ensure to verify which type of book is this. If you're talking about the textile industry, polymerization industry, maybe you're talking about cement industry or so, ensure to check out which book is the go-to book for that. Another category that I want to mention is the so-called equipment. And of course, this really depends on which type of industry you are working in. As stated before, it could be oil and gas, then focus on a book that goes for those specific topics. If you're talking about chemical manufacturing or gas production, definitely go for that as well. In this specific section, I want to focus my attention into specific equipment books. The very first book that I'm talking about is A Working Guide to Process Equipment by Norman Lieberman. It covers a lot of interesting things, for instance, a lot of equipment, unit of operations that you're going to encounter throughout the manufacturing and chemical process industry, but also some troubleshooting, some safety considerations, and some case studies that are definitely going to be very helpful if you are working in the chemical industry. One classical book that you may encounter not only for the chemical engineer, but also for for a mechanical engineer will be The Machinery's Handbook Toolbox by Eric Oberg. And this book, as you can imagine, is going to be talking about all the type of machines or machinery that you're going to encounter in the industry. Not only that, we're going to see a lot of reference within the same book. We're going to encounter a lot of tables, a lot of diagrams that are very helpful to figure out how equipment is working in the industry. Not only that, you may encounter certain type of applications or chemical processes that are explained step by step. And of course, some troubleshooting and safety tips. 
This is by far one of the most classical books that you may encounter and the main idea is that you have this handbook and go always to the chemical plant or the process unit operation that you're working with with your book. Now this other book is quite related towards fluid mechanics, hydraulics and anything that has to do with piping, pumping, fittings, valves and so and I'm talking about the Cameron Hydraulic Data Book which as the name implies it can ascend a lot of numerical data or so but it really covers a direct approach towards problem solving in this field. I'm talking about fluid properties it's always a pain in the butt when you need a specific data point for a specific property of a fluid or a solution and this book is great for that. Not only that, it really explains very neatly and very easy the way in which certain type of valves or actuators work and more importantly the way they are used, installed, operated and how to get the proper maintenance. Moreover, it also talks about hydraulic systems and how to design them, how to operate them and how to get a proper piping system. Definitely a must have if you're working in the process industry. Still talking about equipment and unit operations, I'm pretty sure that you may encounter the following book very useful. And I'm talking about the Chemical Process Equipment Selection and Design by Cooper and Wallace. And this is definitely one of the top books I have seen in unit design because it really covers very greatly on the different type of unit operations that you're going to encounter in the industry, but it really covers also the specific design of such equipment. Not only that guys, it also covers process design fundamentals, a little bit on the selection criteria, when we're talking about performance requirements, maybe we're talking about material compatibility, or operation conditions, and even some cost considerations. What I like the most of this book is not only, of course, all the unit operations that are included, but also that they come accompanied with case studies for you to analyze in which the equipment selections are critical. And still talking about unit operations, but more importantly, piping, fittings and valves, I'm going to be recommending the Crane Valves book, specifically the flow of fluid through valves, fitting and pipes, technical paper 410 metric version. And this is by far one of the best books that you can encounter whenever talking about pipe flow, working with fittings, and more importantly, all those valves. I really love it because it has a lot of key values for the fittings and valves. And not only that, you will encounter a lot of diagrams, tables, and a very comprehensible approach towards the understanding of friction loss, how velocity affects this, and pressure drop in piping system. Talking of which guys, I just prepared a course in this specific topic. If you want to learn more about piping systems, friction loss in pipes, if you want to learn more about fittings, why do they affect the design, or more importantly, how valves operate and why are they important to consider whenever talking about piping systems, ensure to check out the course right here. I did have some inspiration for the course in this specific book, so definitely I can assure you that this is one of the best books for that topic. Another great book by Norman Lieberman will be Understanding Process Equipment for Operators and Engineers. As the name implies, it is a very well-designed book that talks about the different type of unit operations and equipment that an operator may encounter, but also the engineer. So that's why I really like it, because it is very well designed for the person that's going to be working or is going to be in charge of the actual physical operation in the chemical plant, but also for the engineer, which requires the full understanding of the equipment in the process industry. Not only that guys, as you can imagine, this will be considering all sorts of unit operations. So in case that you may be wondering certain type of operation principles or how does a unit works, this book is going to be helping you greatly. Now that we have covered a lot of equipment and unit operations, it's time to talk about utilities. And utilities is something very important when we're talking about the process industry. We're talking about water, we're talking about steam, we're talking about hydrogen, maybe we're talking about oxygen, nitrogen, clean air, and so. There are many utilities that may be relevant for the type of industry that you may be working. And actually, I'm thinking on making a video on this specific issue all the relevant books for utilities. For now, I'm just going to be sticking to one of the most fundamental ones, water treatment. And I'm going to be talking about the Nalco Water Handbook. 
And it is really not about wastewater, but overall water treatment. Why is it relevant to have a treatment plant? But not only that, how and what type of water should we be using for a boiler, for instance, or for a heat exchanger? Not only that, guys, we are also going to be talking about water as a cooling agent. How to improve the water efficiency. How to use cooling towers for water. And more importantly, taking advantage of the understanding of water, its importance in certain type of unit operations, but overall thinking, how can we improve the use of water? And of course, guys, there's a lot of other utilities, but I really think that water is for sure one of the top applications that you're going to encounter in your process industry. Now, for sure, we know that safety is a very important topic in the industry. Whenever we go to work to a chemical plant, we really want to know that we're going to be safe and there's not going to be any kind of accident or hazardous situation. So that's why you may encounter a lot of books on this specific topic. I'm going to be focusing my attention into the chemical industry, but for sure you're going to encounter a lot of books that focuses their attention for your specific industry. Let it be oil and gas, let it be polymers, let it be dyes, let it be pulp and paper. Okay, so the book that I'm going to be recommending is Chemical Process Safety, Learning from Case Studies. And truth be told, guys, is that the way in which this book approaches problems and safety issues is one of the best. Because it is not the boring example that will list you all the hazardous processes and all the things that you need to do. Rather, it is an analysis of the case studies that have been occurring in history. So it is way much more interesting because we already know what happened. We know the effect of such hazardous operation and it is way relatable whenever you see that something already happened and may occur to you. So that's why this is my best pick. And by the way guys, a pretty similar book to this will be that of Trevor Kletz, which is What Went Wrong. I already made a book review if you want to check it out so you can get started learning more about chemical process safety. As a chemical engineer, you are most likely going to encounter a lot of control. When I mean control, I don't mean the actual control of stuff, but rather the field of process control, meaning that we're going to be measuring, we're going to be adjusting, we're going to be using sensors, we're going to be using a lot of instrumentation. Hence, I really think that engineers must have at least one book on piping and instrumentation diagrams, but also a general knowledge on why instrumentation is so important and of course understanding the very basics of this topic. And by far one of the most common books that you're going to encounter is that of LIPTAC. And I'm talking about the Instrument Engineer's Handbook, Process Measurement and Analysis. This is one of the best picks if you want to learn more about process control, process instrumentation, and what essentially is this topic about, but more importantly, into the chemical industry. It all gets started with the importance of process industry, process control. Then, of course, we talk about the measurement fundamentals, why is it important, on why do we need sensors and so. Then it talks about signal transmission and conditioning, which is a very important topic. And finally, it covers all about data acquisition and control systems, of course, always covering a lot of safety issues. Another important topic to cover are those of thumb rules or the rules that are technically speaking not actual laws or rules but are very used throughout the industry. And as stated before guys, it will really depend on the type of industry you're working in. So I'm going to be recommending very generic books that you may encounter that works in chemical and process industries overall. And next will be the unwritten laws of engineering. And as the name implies, these are rules or guidelines that engineers will be using throughout the industry. I really like it because it is a very gentle approach to the industry. And more importantly, these are rules that are vouched by a lot of experts. These are of course limited and always recommended to check out with your detailed design. But generally speaking, these are rules that you will encounter throughout the industry. The book covers a lot of topics of which I really want to focus the most on number one, professional behavior. Number two, the importance of communication skills. Number three, teamwork and collaboration. Number four, career development. And number five, adaptability and innovation. It really covers a vast range of operations in the industry and I'm pretty sure that you may encounter some useful tips from this book alone. But if you're like me guys, you prefer to have the thumb rules based on the specific topic. If we're talking about heat transfers or we're talking about maybe pumping systems, maybe we're talking about mass balances or general plant control, this is a great book for you. And I'm talking about the rules of thumb for the chemical engineer by Stephen Hall. 
And this is a very well-rounded book. It really has a lot of thumb rules that apply to the chemical industry, to the manufacturing industry, to the process industry, and many other types of industries. It covers, of course, the general principles. It covers about unit operations. It talks about heat transfer, momentum transfer. It also covers the importance of reactor design, the vessel design. It also covers process control and plant operation. It covers a lot of valuable topics, but more importantly, as you can expect, it will also cover a lot into the safety and hazard management for the industry. Definitely a must have book if you are into actual design or operation of chemical processes. And the final topic, general plant operation guys. As you can imagine, this is also on how to work with a chemical process, what effects are going to be occurring if you ship certain type of process specifications, if you increase the temperature of a boiler, what's going to happen with the distillation unit, with the purity, what's going to be the effect with the duty of the condenser, what's going to happen with the processes and so on. Definitely a topic worth checking out. And in here, I'm going to be proposing three main books. Number one will be Albright's Chemical Engineering Handbook, which is essentially going to cover fundamental principles, theory, practical aspects of unit operation, design and operation. It also covers maintenance. It also covers sizing of equipment. And more importantly, it also has an approach towards plant economics. We're going to be talking about finances. We're going to be talking about the project management of a chemical plant by itself. The second book is once again, Norman Lieberman's book, which is going to be talking about troubleshooting process operations. And I really love this book because as the name implies, it is all about troubleshooting anything that's going on in the chemical process. Meaning that if you have a doubt in a pump or if you have any doubt in a reboiler or a condenser, you have a problem with a chemical reactor or maybe you're talking about a pressure drop in a piping system or any doubt that you may encounter, this book is for sure going to have that solution or at least it's going to be pointing you in the right direction. And finally guys, yet not less important, the Handbook of Chemical Engineering Calculations. Pretty similar to the other books, this is essentially a handbook that helps you with the calculations of any type of process. If you're talking about heat transfer, if you're talking about momentum transport or fluid mechanics, if you're talking about reactor engineering, safety issues, control, and more importantly, plant design, operation, and optimization. This is by far one of the top books that you may encounter on the topic out there. There you have it, guys. As you have seen, I'm pretty sure that you were expecting some of this. Maybe you were wondering which other type of books may go in this list. Maybe you're wondering on certain type of industries. Please let me know in the comment section which other type of books would you like me to cover in this section. The main idea is that we know which type of books are great for those engineers that are looking for a reference material. But more importantly, that we get started building our library of knowledge that are actually books and handbooks that are useful for us to solve daily life problems. And also guys, very important to remark that all these books must have your own handwritten notes. Add post-its, add separators, add notes to those books so you get the best of these books and facilitate your process engineering life. I'm going to get started with the book review on specific industries. In this case, I'm going to get started with oil and gas. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section and let's get started with the discussion. On my behalf, guys, that will be it. I'll see you in the next video.